Today, I'm gonna to show you five websites that I use every day when I'm teaching online. Every website I mention, I will leave links in the description below. And also use the timestamps if you wanna to jump to the next website in this video. Make sure you watch the whole video as at the end of the video, I will be giving you one extra bonus website that I use every day. So the first website I use every day, and it's the first website I use when I open my browser, is a website called start.me. Start.me is a Google Chrome extension that allows you to organize and get quick access to all your bookmarks and your links. Now, I prefer this way as I can visualize all my links and bookmarks very easily. So rather than using the top bar or your favorites bar in Google Chrome, for example, but I find this way a lot easier to read and to manage and to organize. So as you can see, I have my go-to websites, the apps that I use at the start of my day, and also you can use add pages for even more bookmarks and links. Now, another reason why I use this website is, I'm gonna give you the example now, is if I choose YouTube here, now by using the Chrome extension, which is here, I can quickly add that link to start.me. My top five websites, let's add YouTube to that, add bookmark. If I go back to start.me, and go back to this page, YouTube has been added to my links here. So that is the main reason why I use it. It's an online dashboard for all my links and bookmarks. So I already have a short tutorial of this Google Chrome extension. So if you wanna see that video, please click on the link in the description or on the banner above. So the next website is called Edmodo. Edmodo is a learning management system website, which is very similar to Google Classroom. I'm gonna give you six reasons why I use Edmodo. Number one, students do not need an email address to sign up. Number two, parents can also gain access to their grades and assignments. Number three, teachers can share and upload homework and assignments and students can also hand in their homework via Edmodo. Number four, the interface is like Facebook. So the teachers and the students can communicate with posts and others can comment and like. So number five, uh, teachers and students can collaborate outside of the classroom with messages and posts. Six, you can still connect Google services such as uh, your Google Drive account. Now, I use Edmodo every day as it helps me to communicate and manage my classes and assign homework. So, what do you use to manage your classes? Please tell me in the comments. And also, if you want me to create a beginner's guide of Edmodo, then please leave a comment below. So, the next website is Class Dojo. Now, Class Dojo is a communication and classroom management website. I don't use it as a way to communicate. All I use it for is to motivate and encourage my students. Now, before you create a class, you have to assign a monster to each student. And what I do is I let the students choose their own monster as they want to gain points for their monster. So the way we motivate or the way I motivate my students is just by these monsters and by giving each student points. Just like maybe stars in the classroom, but here we have points. So Blanca, for example, I'll click on her monster and I can give her a point for helping others, maybe teamwork or working hard or whichever you want from this list. You can edit this list as well. Now, you can also have negative points where they need work, which I don't usually do, as I wanna be more, let's say, I wanna reinforce it in a positive way, you know, positive reinforcement. 
uh, if they don't behave very well in that class, they don't get a point, for example. And that's it. So the main reason I use Class Dojo is to encourage and motivate my students. I can share this screen at the beginning of the class or whenever you want, in the middle, at the end, and you can give them points. So if you would like uh, a beginner's guide to Class Dojo, then please leave a comment below. So the next website is called Live Worksheets. Live Worksheets is a, a website that would allow you to turn a PDF into an interactive worksheet that auto corrects. So all you do is you upload a PDF to the website, you create text boxes that the students can interact with. You then share it with your students and they can complete it and get immediate feedback as the worksheet auto corrects or they can send it by email to the teacher. Now, I already have a short beginner's guide of this website. So if you'd like to create an interactive PDF, then click on the link in the description or click the banner above. So the fifth website is called Classroom Screen. Now, Classroom Screen is a website that allows you to have many classroom tools which are all at the bottom of the screen. So when and why do I use this? So I use this every day when I'm sharing my screen on Zoom. So if I'm not sharing a book or a PDF, for example, I will then share this screen. So if I'm sharing my whole desktop uh, and my browser, I can switch between websites and with this website, I can quickly get access to, for example, dice, which is here. I can roll dice. I can get access to maybe a drawing tool, uh, work symbols, traffic lights, so you can basically stop your work, uh, get ready to do your work, go. You have maybe timers and stopwatches and so forth. So you have many classroom tools available to you um, when you are sharing your screen with Zoom or maybe Google Meet. So yeah, this is the main reason why I use it. Now I have a video, a little tutorial of this website. So if you wanna see that video, please click on the link in the description or click on the banner above. So the bonus website that I use every day is called Games to Learn English. You might have seen this website before, but I think it's a great website when I need to get a game. If my students are tired um, or we need a brain break, I can quickly come to this website and find a game. Now, so when I'm sharing my screen and I wanna play a game, sometimes I've gotta give my students access to the mouse. So give them uh, remote access, which, Sometimes the, uh, it can be quite laggy and slow. So the main game I play on this website is Hangman. Hangman is a great game as all they need to do is say a letter. So you can manage the class better. You don't need to give any remote access to them with the mouse. There are many categories to choose from and all they do is, as you know, they just choose a letter. Please leave uh, the games that you play online in the comments. That would be great. What are your five websites that you use every day? Please tell me in the comments below. So that's it. I hope you've liked this video. If you did, please hit the like and also please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.